Next, I want to talk about how to export data, um, keyword data or uh, project files, things like that. Basically, how to import and export, save and load data within Keyword Atlas. So within the two tools in here, there's a suggest keyword tools and keyword related, or sorry, related keywords tool. These two tools have their own project file format. So you can see in here, you can save to project file. So if you save this, let's just call it uh, phishing. We save it. And if we just clear everything out here, then we can load that that file. We can see the phishing one right here. And that's very that's only specific to this. So if you go to the, rate, uh, the related keywords tool and we try to open a file, you see that it's not there because that's a different a data file. So that so that you can only open it within that particular tool when you're doing the project files. You can also save to common delimited and to text. You can also save just the keywords to comma delimited file as well as just the keywords to text. Then of course you can save just the keywords. You can do all uh, the copying, I mean. You can copy all keywords to clipboard, copy the selected. Selected means you have to select the actual checkboxes and those are the ones you're going to want to copy. The copy menu right there is also under the copy button. So you can copy here and also you can export keywords, sets of keywords. So I'm going to show you that in just a second. Then you also have access down here to um, open the last working folder, which is really handy. I don't know why other software don't ever put this in there. I put this in all my software. When you uh, click that, it will open up your Explorer to the last place you've either opened or saved a file using Keyword Atlas. That is just so awesome. It saves so much time hunting around, especially when you got like a hard drive that's just packed full of directories like mine. So that just saves so much time. And if you really need to get to the install folder where the software is, the same thing. It just pops up and you can see where it goes. So handy little feature there. And all that stuff is over here as well. So you can save stuff there. So let's look at exporting keywords. So you do that with the copy button or you can even right click and get access to all the copy stuff here as well. And also export sets of data here as well. So it's pretty self-explanatory. I mean, you just select the ones you want and you can go copy selected keywords. And if I just bring up notepad and paste those ones we copied, or you can just uh, you know copy all of them and they're all here. Another way to do it is you export the sets of keywords that you want. So I can export all of them or export the selected ones. Let's just do all. And what this will do, this little tool, it breaks it up into sets for you. So I've created, you can create there your different, um, how many you want in each set of keywords. So say 100 or 200 or 500. And it'll, this little tool automatically grab all the keywords and put them into sets of 500. And you can see these sets in this little um, memo window here. So text box window. And you have a few other options. You can make it comma separated or just one per line. And you can also do match um, operators for, say for example, you want to export this into or import these keywords into a Google ad campaign or a Google or a YouTube ad, cam ad campaign. And you can do phrase or exact match, just like that. And you can just go ahead and you can just select all of them in here or you can just click the copy button. It'll copy everything that's in that window. And you can see here, or you can you can uh, save it. You can also clean them out. So that will clean out any um, weird characters and things like that that shouldn't be in there when you're listing these in, a, in an ad network like Google. And like I said, you can just save these to a text file if you want. And I'll save those keywords. So a lot of different ways here so you can quickly get to the keywords that you need to use in your ad campaigns. So that's a really nice handy little tool. And that's basically it. It's uh, fairly straightforward to save and load data into the software and use that cool little export tool. I'll see you in the next video.